Hello people, this is Budridge. It's a new video, a new Sublime Text video. I call this one Good Packs 3 Snippet Maker. And we're gonna talk about Snippet Maker and Snippets. So let's start by cleaning up these open tabs that we have here. And um, I can see we did some test files, maybe in the last video uh, or whatever. Let's delete those. And let's create a new test file. Because why not? Let's, uh, I have a, a, a directory that I call TMP in my home folder that, where I can do random things like this, like random things like this dot bash, whatever. There. And since I named this dot bash, it will automatically uh, set the, the syntax to bash here. And I really wanted that because snippets, it, it is like pre... Um, small scripts in a way almost all editors have have some kind of a snippet system uh, and with sublime with these uh, uh, packages that come pre-installed inside this opt directory uh, most of these have snippets inside of them and um, bash is one example one snippet uh, is for shebang you write exclamation mark and then uh, env and then tab that will automatically create the shebang for bash here because it knows it should be bash because we are in a, have a bash syntax activated here i think actually we, we let's try this i haven't tried it myself but if i change this to python and then do env yeah it automatically uh, knows which interpreter to to set it to but i want this in bash so born again shell there uh, that's one snippet, very simple, or it is actually quite advanced. Then we have uh, for if, it's, it's something common, you know, uh, write if, press tab, and then you, it automatically creates this if clause for us, and, and put, put the focus here inside the brackets immediately, so you don't have to type everything out, and then you can do a var1 is equal to t, or whatever. Press tab again, it will take us to the next... Um, uh, place in the snippet and that is this whole thing so if I wanted to I could uh, replace this to maybe and do an arithmetic test of it or, or something like that if I wanted to do that whatever press tab again then it will take us to this uh, body of the if uh, statement here and we can do an echo var one is t or something like that that is how snippet works like and then there are a couple of more built-in ones for bash i think uh, there's one for case looks like this and so on it's not many it's maybe 10 built-in sn snippets for bash we can actually extract the the extract the shell package here and look at it shell script is is the built-in uh, package which contains the bash snippets i extracted that and then we can find it uh, here now in our package extracted there we have shell script, and here are those snippets I just just showed you. You can look at the if here. And this is how, how it looks like. Tab trigger, important, that uh, tells us when to, to uh, print the snippet. So it prints the snippet when we write if, and then press tab. Then the scope, that tells it that this snippet is only, act, uh, only works uh, if this uh, scope is shell here. This is a, so uh, for Python files, it would be a different scope and so on. Uh, and if, if it would, would be a Python file, uh, then the if would look different. For example, here we are in bash tab, it looks like this. I set the syntax to Python, do an if tab, then we get a Python if that looks like this. And there we can do var one is equal to t tab then do something here print var one whatever you get it so that's what the scope does it uh, lets you specify the, the scope of the of, of, of the snippet you can create your own snippets just place them in inside the, uh, a package folder it, you can, could create your own folder and place them there or whatever. But there is actually a very good uh, tool to just like with projects that will simplify uh, 
and and make it much more manageable the uh, all all your snippets highly recommend you install this install package snippet maker and this one can be sometimes I, I like to use this actually snippet destroyer this will destroy all built-in snippets so every built-in snippets will get destroyed and the way it destroys it is that it will extract all uh, uh, snippets and blank the files but whatever but uh, I actually use this and blank everything and then I make all my snippets myself instead so if we install here snippet ma maker not snippet manager snippet maker then we should see it here there now it's installed we can extract it right away if we want to so we get access to the readme and stuff like that have it here see it's not mu much in this it's python and some commands edit make snippet whatever and i thought one snippet that i really like to to have handy is a, a snippet for for key bindings in in our sublime key map files and here we have a, a made a key binding that is pretty good we can select that text here then i think you can right click uh, maybe you can't open reveal no you select the text and then open the command palette search for snippet maker and then make snippet uh, then it prompts us here for what tab trigger we want here and let's do kb uh, a description this is just like uh, some some information that will come up in the pop-up menu when when the snippet is displayed we can write like sublime uh, key map or key binding and then uh, it automatically creates this source for us which, which is always uh, a, a lot here but this is good enough we, if we just accept this default uh, source that it gives us here or scope uh, that will work in the type of file we have open now but you can can really um, fine-tune that and then it won't uh, wants a file name by default it set it to the same thing as a tab trigger but I like to, to set this the scope or, or type here for example if this was a bash snippet I would name it bash dash trigger you will see soon why this is good I hit enter there and then it created the snippet we could also sneak create created this snippet directory here inside our user packages you know packages user snippets here it is our new snippet and now it just uh, fills in the, the the same text that was selected so if we go to um, the key key map file again now if i write kb we can see we get the menu in instantly here and it says sublime key binding i press tab and then it pastes that thing in but we can see already there's something weird with the in intendation here so uh, then we fix that by just reindent this which is control left bracket is indent left and control right bracket indent right can be good to know you can also use the tab key but i really don't like using the tab key for intendation i think i will make a video just about the tab key but not now okay but this is just a stupid uh, uh, snippet now that that prints these hard-coded values highly recommend that you take a look inside of the uh, uh, unofficial uh, sublime document documentation you can also open this snippet maker here but we have official documentation here this this is my awesome list that i have in the budlime uh, repository you know budlime awesome select unofficial documentation search for snippet search in snippets and this this page has all you need to know about snippets there are some built-in variables you can use in the snippets like the file name of the current active file that's um, called the snippet and you can make um, some some simple uh, uh, like regular expressions and stuff we'll not go into that at all in this video uh, but this is basically the, the syntax. We can copy this. <clears throat> so 
So go to Sublime again, see what we copied. And the first field we want selected in our snippet here, that is the key, right? We, we want to enter with some, some kind of key combination. Then it's very similar to bash uh, syntax when you define variables. And here you define them in order. Keys is the first field we, we want uh, selected. So then, then you can just write $1 like this, or you can even write it like this. If I save this, uh, go to the key map file again, and now KB tab. Then it uh, puts the cursor immediately at that position. But uh, it can be nice to have like a, a pre filled in value or something so you know what's supposed to be there. Uh, you can write something like this key now kb tab. Now it says keys, key there, but it is also selected, so I can just start typing immediately here. So alt plus shift plus s or whatever. Okay, and then we want to do the same thing for the command here. Um, We do a dollar to colon command boink. Argument here that is a bit special because some uh, commands they don't you don't need the argument you want it completely blank but sometimes you do want it. Uh, it it's no problem to to leave it like this. Um, yeah, we can see here. Do a kb bam and then a key combination alt plus s. Tab, it takes us to the second field there, and here we write in the command. You can do the same here just for, whoops, whatever, cmd. And then uh, we didn't have any more fields, so if I would press tab now, it would uh, take us to the end of the snippet. And the argument list here is empty, or the argument directory is this called actually, I, th I think. This is JSON format, you know. Um, and this is a valid uh, key, key binding, except that this command doesn't exist. So I like to have it like this. So, so uh, we always have the arg uh, uh, key here in, in this directory, even if, if we don't have any arguments. But we could also do a, a $3 colon args maybe or maybe just dollar three because then uh, it will be empty by default now let's do args save and then it looks like this i think you have fig figured that out how it works now right right kb tab now we have args at, as the last command there is a, a, a fourth uh, uh, setting that, that is common in key, key bindings. I will not explain so much what it does um, or how it works because it's a bit complicated, but I would like to add that right, right away anyway. It's, it's called context. It uh, defines uh, where, when this key, key combination should be active. And a context con consists of a list of contexts and each context is described inside a directory. So this is how, how you should write a, a context. And then we can do for colon context here. Like this. So now kb uh, blah 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 write a command and then no we don't have an argument and we don't have any special uh, context but these two are, are are valid even if they are uh, empty here that, that would not affect that would mean the same thing as this so that's why i think th this snippet is okay um and context it means for example you could could set a, a context this is a one context the file find panel is open uh, and then you could have a key combination only that will only work when this uh, panel is active and open and stuff like that. Or maybe a key combination that's only active when the sidebar is visible and, and things like that. That's what, what you can do with context. And that you can read all about that also here. Uh, search for key uh, bindings or key map or something. 
and no okay key map then key map here it's a very good page describing all the different context keys you can set and stuff but we'll come back to this and make uh, and now we have a good way to create uh, uh, new key combinations so um, and I think now uh, with the packages I have shown you here the, the project manager the snippet maker and the eye opener that is like the three uh, very very good packages that that that, that uh, anyone would benefit from no matter what kind of development you are doing they they will be useful um, the next episode uh, where with packages i think i want to show you my own package again here i have made a video when i released this uh, a couple of months ago but let's do one more for for this series and also about apply syntax about a bit and yeah a bit about syntax and stuff then those are also uh, this at least apply syntax in my opinion also like a core package that uh, everyone should have and maybe file rename also yeah there are some of these <laughs> simple functions yeah file rename and uh, apply syntax we should probably uh, add and then it's time to break everything start over again enable vintage mode which is uh, vi navigation for for sublime so so it will you will get a more vim like experience when you use it but it's incredibly good when you get it working you need to hack it a bit but that's what these vid videos are for thank you for watching have a great day bye bye